Well, the police union is definitely blaming City Hall, but it's pretty obvious the weekend violence is highlighting a bigger, ongoing problem for both sides. <laughs> Emergency sirens were a common sound in San Jose this weekend. The understaffed police department dealt with two separate shooting homicides and a double stabbing at a nightclub. Police held almost an entire shift on overtime and utilized others usually assigned to the downtown entertainment zone, but acknowledged non-life-threatening calls had to wait. There were a lot of witnesses that needed to be transported to the witness center. We had a suspect in custody. You know, that can tie up dozens of officers. But today, the San Jose Police Officers Association displayed all the 911 calls that had to wait and blasted the mayor and city leaders for failing the public by not asking for help. Today, we are calling for an investigation into why city leaders did not request mutual aid from outside law enforcement agencies so that San Jose emergency 911 calls for service could be answered. City leaders are working our officers far too long, too often, and it's putting the public safety and officers' safety at risk. The mayor's office responded that it is up to the police chief to request public aid. Sergeant Camarillo said the department felt it could and did handle the weekend violence efficiently and usually calls for mutual aid only for large-scale situations such as riots. The one thing everyone agrees on is recruiting new officers is crucial, but not much help is coming. Out of 112 recruits in the recent academy, less than half remained. And according to the POA, with more staff losses expected this winter, there could be 73 fewer officers by the end of the year. Even if I had a magic wand and said, hey, tomorrow we're going to get a thousand new police officers, that is a, a very tall hill to climb. It is not a very comforting thought on Halloween night. Right now, police have 952 officers on the streets. It once had almost 1,500. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.